They settled out in the land of Goshen, away from everybody else, out of sight, out of mind. And Scripture says that there they settled in the land and gained great possessions. You see, the only problem, though, with being a favored people is that politics change. And sure enough, a new regime came along. Eventually, they did not remember all the good things that Joseph had done for the people. And the Israelis were resented so greatly because of their favored position and actually feared that they were ultimately enslaved. No telling how many children were killed as they tried to control the population. You know, that, that's uh, even beyond abortion. That's even beyond late-term abortion. That's just infanticide as the, the children were cast into the, into the waters by the who knows how many. ISIS government is always bad government. I don't know why a good Jewish person like Rahm Emanuel would make such a stupid statement as we just never should let a crisis get away from us. We need to take advantage of every crisis. When his own people have been enslaved through the ages and there is a rising anti-Semitism today in the world that's going to try to do it again. And yet here we are in the freest nation in the world, in America, where we still enjoy the greatest freedoms that anyone could ever enjoy. But we have seen our personal freedoms erode from what our founding fathers left us. Our founders created a government that was less powerful than any individual in the country. The individual had more power than the central government. The states had more power than the central government. And now what do we have? Why, the central government has all power almost. And the states even have power over us. Well, I live in the city of Bessemer and the county of Jefferson, and they confiscate my money. And they confiscate yours. Somebody asked me one time, do you own your land? Do you own your house? Or are you ready? And I said, I'm ready. Well, who are you ready? I'm renting from the county. Because if I don't pay my taxes every year, they'll take it away from me. What in the world has happened to us when our founders got excited because there was a taxation on tea? And everything we have is taxed. Taxed locally, taxed regionally, taxed on the state. We have allowed it because of the crisis. Because of the crisis. Joseph's actions and all politics have consequences. No elections have consequences, don't they? You don't like the Supreme Court justices that are coming up before us, so you just remember that because of who we elected as president. If you like them, then that's fine. You need to remember one day there will be a different one and you won't like that one either. Elections always have consequences. Political decisions always have consequences. Sometimes they're not planned for or foreseen, but they always have consequences. And Joseph's political actions, I believe, led to his very people being enslaved after his death. What is going to happen after we're gone? Will America still be free? We can't just assume that because it is what we leave our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren that they'll have. What has been left to us has been very good. But our freedoms have eroded. One reason is because we have allowed our government to do for us what we should have done for ourselves. I want to tell you something, folks, don't ever, don't ever allow someone else to do for you what you should do for yourself because you'll become their slave.
become your slave. When I worked my first job, an open door job, across the street, across the highway from my house, and I made uh, 45 cents an hour, I thought, thought I was going to get rich, I got my first paycheck and half of it was gone for something else. I took that check home to my daddy and I said, explain to me what's happening here. And he gave me the wisest words that anybody ever told me. He said, so just always remember that people like you and me always pay. Now, that's, that wasn't a cynical thing. He was teaching me a valuable lesson. To be a good person and a good citizen, you need to pay your own way. Work hard. You can make it in this country. Pay your own way. Do for yourself instead of looking for the government or anybody else to do for you. Now, I know sometimes you don't have a choice. You know, I've, I've learned uh, since I've become old that Social Security is now an entitlement. You know, all those 50 years that I paid into that, I thought I was paying into a fund that they were going to keep. And let it grow. And then when I got old, I could draw out from it like a retirement. But suddenly I find out it's an entitlement. You know why it's an entitlement? Because Congress spent the money. They spent it. Didn't keep it. It's an entitlement because what I draw today, somebody is working and paying me. And, you know, all those 50 years I was working, I guess I was paying it for my daddy and my granddaddy. Just, I just didn't realize I wanted to put money up for me. It's an entitlement. I didn't have much choice on that. Sometimes you don't have a choice. You have to do what your government tells you to do sometimes. But I'm telling you folks, everything you can do for yourself, do it. That's part of independence. That's part of freedom. I want to also encourage you to educate yourself. Look at history for what it really is. Don't, don't trust the revisionist history that we're getting in our schools today. And go back to the original sources. Then we'll inspire you what people gave up to come to this country and to build this nation and to declare the independence. You need to get your own copy of the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States. You got yours with you? Somebody, I, I didn't tell you. Oh, Charles is going to be smart, Eddie. I told him, I said, you're the only person in church today I'm not going to step on their toe because he's wearing the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> that take long to read both of those documents. But, but those documents cost our founders everything. But oh, what a legacy of freedom they left us. You need to read that thing. And you need to honor